Wonder what could be in this little ditty. Huh? Huh? Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great freaking Wednesday. Luna and I are both having great freaking Wednesdays. Anyway, today I'm pretty stoked because you know I do the little Dollar Tree haul videos. Well, I have bought a few things recently and I've been buying the coolest shit on the planet lately and I kind of wanted to do a video about it. That's what I'm gonna do today. It's kind of a haul video, but not really. It's just like, hey, I've bought this and that and that and this and this and I bought these things lately and I'm just stoked on them. It's like the little nerd things I buy that make me happy because sometimes in life the only time I'm happy is when I buy things for myself. You and I used to be best friends but I don't know, no I don't know when it went. Just kidding. Anyway, let's get to some of these cool ass things that I bought. First off, I'm gonna go with this little bitty thing because this is probably the least coolest thing I bought even though to me it's cool as shit. <laughs> yeah, boy! Braun and the rest of the Cavaliers done brought the trophy home. I had to purchase it because <laughs> why not? I mean, I'm not even remotely joking with you right now. I almost had a full-blown panic attack watching game seven of the NBA Finals. That last two minutes had me literally like... Oh. But it didn't matter because LeBron just ran up on Iguodala's layup and smacked it the fuck down. It didn't matter because Kyrie Irving just popped up a three over Steph Curry's head to make it. And then Kevin Love just all over Steph Curry like white on rice. <laughs> oh man, it was a beautiful thing. So obviously I had to buy this. Anywho, moving on, I apologize. Uh, we've got other cool things that I've purchased, I promise you. All right, here we go. Next awesome thing that I purchased, and this is what I bought. Tell me that's not awesome. I love the Ghostbusters. I've always loved the Ghostbusters. I seen him, it was only $14.99 I think, and I had to jump on it. I had to get him. He's so dope, like, whoa, man, totally. And I had to get him, I had to. Like, he's so cool. I'm really stoked for the new Ghostbusters movie. Why so many people are hating on it? I have not one clue in this world because from what I've seen, it looks dope. It looks amazing. Like, I haven't seen one thing about this new movie that halfway looks like it might suck. I don't understand what people think. Like, for us people who grew up on the original Ghostbusters and the original TMNT, these movies aren't made for us necessarily. To an extent they are, but on a bigger level, they're made for a brand new generation. They're not trying to, you know, make us happy. They're trying to make this new generation happy. Understand that and get over it. Like, what the fuck's up with you? Like, shut the hell up. I mean, goddamn. I think it's gonna be dope and that's all that matters. That's all that fucking matters on this planet is if I think it's dope. Anyway, I got Slimer. He's dope. Uh, that was Slimer. I pushed the button on that one. It wasn't me. Moving on to the next coolest thing. All right, this here is kind of a, a lot of things that I've purchased lately. And I have my buddy James to thank. I've literally have only played this game twice. I loved it so much, just the layout of it and the graphics and everything that I went psycho kinda and have been buying everything because I'm kind of, to an extent, on depends on what it is I'm collecting because I like to collect a lot of things. I'm kind of a uh, completist on some things, and in this particular case, I'm a completist for sure. Anyway, without further ado, what I'm talking about right now is the game Boss Monster! My buddy James introduced me to this game, like I said, and I fell in love with it. I did not win either time that we played that night, but 
I just loved it. There's the first game, which is the game that I played with my buddy James. See, this is the base game, which you can buy pretty much anywhere. Anyway, I went a step further than that and bought the Legendary Edition, which is BOOM! As you can see, it's in gold foil. It's got kind of the Zelda look to it. It's what, it, you know, it's the Kickstarter Legendary Edition. And basically, there's a couple extra special cards in this set than what was released to, you know, just in the retail version. And the boss is... In, let me show you a boss. Let me show you a fucking boss since you're asking so much. But yeah, also in the Legendary Edition, you get these tokens... Sorry about my fingernails. My fingernails are quite long. Those tokens are like level up tokens. Just throw a token on when you level up. But yet, in the Legendary Edition, instead of regular bosses, your bosses come like this. They're all foiled, which is really super cool. This game is amazing. And I've been really OCD about this since I bought it. I have not even played any of these yet because I don't want to screw any of these up. Like this Legendary Edition, you only got it if you paid so much money on Kickstarter. The only way you can get the Legendary Edition is if you find it on eBay. And it's not cheap. So I have not played any of these games yet because I'm trying to get sleeves. Yeah, anyway, then there's Boss Monster 2. Boss Monster 2, the next level. Boss Monster 2, the next level, limited edition, which is this sucker. And this one, it comes with the bosses are foiled again. It's just cool. You get more cards, and I want to own every last card that Boss Monster has released. So, yeah, and then they came out with the expansion. Boss Monster Tools of Hero Kind, I picked that up. If you've ever played Boss Monster, this gives the heroes in Boss Monster kind of uh, their own abilities. They can now harm you in other ways. Also, I got Boss Monster Lunchbox. This is the Kickstarter version. There is a retail version of this, but the Kickstarter version comes with more cards than what the retail version does. It comes with more tokens that the retail version does not. It even comes with these little dividers. I bought the Paper and Pixels expansion, mini expansion. I'm totally geeking out right now. That's the whole point of this video, is just me being like, hey, I'm a fucking nerd, guys. Like, I even went out of my way and reached out to the Boss Monster creators and talked to them. It was like, hey, like, actually what happened is I had bought like Boss Monster 2, the limited edition that comes with the foiled boss bosses and when I got it I was missing one of the foiled bosses I was supposed to have and I bought it brand new it was still sealed so I reached out to him I was like hey I bought this it was sealed I'm missing one of the foiled cards I apologize but I don't want to rebuy this game just for this one foil card do you by chance have one they were nice enough to write me back and was like yes yes and let us know what other cards you're missing and I was like well I don't know how to take that but, as far as I know, I'm missing only two cards, and I will own every boss monster card that has ever been released. And one of them was a Bomb Boy Factory card that was released at the Origins event in 2014, I think it was. They were like, hey, we got that, okay, we'll send you that. And yeah, they sent it to me, but it wasn't the Origins one. This is actually, I mean, I'm going too far into this if you don't know what the hell boss monster is, but this is a variation. It's just a different, it's the same card I was needing, but it's a variation of that. And it's even rarer and harder to come by. So much, in fact, I still don't know what the hell this is. Twice a year, there's an Origins event, and then there's Gen Con. And they release special cards at both events. They released this at the Origins event about a month ago, and I purchased that. You should check it out. It's a really fun game. It's super easy. It's two to four players, but the new expansion that's coming out, which is called Boss Monster Crash Landing, they changed it to where now it can be up to six players can play at once. And before, you could die. Once you got five wounds you died and you were out of the game. With this new expansion, you can't die. Whoever has the most souls at the end of the game is the winner. No one dies and misses out. I'm so sorry. I'm just super stoked on Boss Monster. Anyway, moving on. I only have one thing and that is this. 
I purchased this. I didn't want to open it until I did this video. Here we go. I'm so stoked because whoever I bought it from made this. Like, it's not from a company, I don't think. So, I'm excited to see if it's as nice looking as it was, as the picture was online. So here we go. Oh man, I think it might be cooler than I thought it was going to. Boom! <laughs> oh man, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> What was it? I think it was the next day when they got back to Cleveland. They're walking out of the airplane and LeBron James is right there with the trophy, with the none of my business Kermit hat, and with the ultimate warrior t-shirt. You all might be the warriors, but I'm the ultimate warrior. <sighs> In my eyes, being a LeBron James fan, that image of him with the trophy, that hat, that t-shirt was one of the greatest images I've ever witnessed in my life. And anyway, I was on Instagram one day, this popped up. Someone was like, on eBay, go get it. And I was like, what? Someone made a fucking shirt out of it? You're fucking damn right I'm going to go spend money on that shirt right now. The Ultimate Warrior, he's the unanimous finals MVP. I mean, sure you got the unanimous regular season MVP and you got the best regular season in the NBA history, but you didn't win the finals and you weren't the unanimous Finals MVP, like... Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, I'll quit. I'll stop now. But anyway, that was it. I hope you all enjoyed all the awesome things that I've purchased here lately. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'll put a little thing right up here so you can subscribe to me. Just click on it. Give me a thumbs up for this video. And leave me a comment because I enjoy your comments. You want to talk shit about LeBron? I'll school you. You want to talk about Boss Monster? Comment me. You want to talk about Ghostbusters? Comment me. If you really enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, share it with your friends. Copy the thing, paste it on Facebook or wherever so your friends can see it, and I would super appreciate it, like superly. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. From Luna to me to you, bye.